This video is brought to you by Tactile Turn. They make fully machined pins right here in the US out of materials like bronze, copper, titanium, and zirconium. Tactile Turn is known for their fantastic bolt action pins, but they just launched a brand new side click pin that also comes in three size variants, the 5.8 inch standard, 5.3 inch short, and the 4.6 inch mini. And unlike the bolt action pins, the side click comes with a really nice milled titanium clip. You can also upgrade your pin with a Timascus clip or personalize it with laser engraving on the standard clip. To see more about what Tactile Turn has to offer, hit the link in the description below. And if you purchase anything using those links, it will help support the show. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Barden, and it's time for another episode of the Best Damn EDC. This time, I'm going to do another Discord-only episode. That was a lot of fun, doing it off the cuff and going through the Discord. I asked for submissions in the Discord yesterday, and there were a ton of pictures posted. I haven't actually looked in there. I just heard from other people in the server that it was kind of a madhouse, so kind of interested to look and see what's going on in there. But before we get started, I just want to mention a couple of things. First, the last Best MADC episode we did, there was a Key Smart Rugged giveaway. The winner of that is Josh W with this comment right here. Thanks, Josh. I'll be in touch and we will get that all squared away. But I'm also going to do another giveaway. This time we're doing a Yellow Birch Outfitters Pocket Pro in black. So if you want to know how to win this, just watch the video. At some point in the video, I will talk about how to enter. Last thing I want to mention before we get started is merch. So I haven't really been pushing carry commission a bunch because my shirt fulfillment company was way, way, way behind on orders. The, the last drop I did on a shirt design, they were like three, four weeks out on shipping things. It was a mess. Uh, I didn't want to push it while that was the case, but they've started opening back up and getting caught up. So I have several new t-shirt designs in the store, including this one, a nice new carry-on shirt, and a few other designs. I have stuff coming in the future as well, but if you want to go check those out, those are at carry.best or carrycommission.com. You can go there, buy a shirt, and it helps support what I'm doing here. But that's it for now. There's no theme for this episode. This is just a Discord edition of the Best MEDC. And let's do the damn thing. Also, I'm gonna be kind of quick here because it is ridiculously hot. I bought this AC unit, it's been running full time. I've done everything I know how to do and it's still like 80 degrees in this office. It just makes it kind of miserable being in here with no moving air and with hot lights shining down on me. So uh, don't be surprised if I talk really fast to get this over with as fast as possible. Nice, here's one from Champ Cheesy. He says, NKD, for those of you who don't know, NKD is new knife day. He posts a picture with his tie scribe and a shamwari. This is the Gareth Bull Wee Knives production shamwari. Same one I have in my pocket right now. Uh, I got this thing earlier this week and it's just a really, really sweet knife. I've not put it down, I've just sat and flicked it open over and over and over. Front flippers, for whatever reason, are just super fidgety. Uh, Love this knife, really, really cool. I wish the drop had gone better. I missed the drop entirely, but they are doing another run of them in the future. Here's a nice carry from Red. He's red.edc over on Instagram or Red US in the server. He has a brass Fisher Space Pin bullet as well as a brass Zippo and a buck 110 with one of those little, I think it's called a quick stud. So it's a little screw on thumb stud that you can put on a traditional knife. And it makes one hand opening just a little bit easier. Not. Super easy, but a little bit easier, especially on something like a, a backlock knife. Here's one from somebody who's been submitting to the show basically since I started at Watch and Carry. Um, he has a Victorinox Super Tinker with custom green scales, a true utility telepin, uh, Endar the Pilot Trigger Wallet, Comfy Clothiers Wallet Comb, and then Orient ERAMA0 Automatic Watch. He's always got some interesting watches. He does a lot of custom work on Casios, especially the World Times. He does a lot of really cool stuff. You can find him, the, the Instagram handle is the same as his username in the Discord. Just watch underscore in underscore carry. And I think he has a YouTube channel as well, but he does a lot of cool stuff with watches. And he's always got some really quirky timepieces. It's really, really neat what he does. Um, Michael Eskai, that's his name. All right, here's one from Ultiman, and he has a lion steel round head in bow coat wood. He has a slim front pocket wallet from Etsy, Jerome Handmade. He has a Retro 51 Tornado Wanderer Topo pin from Rustico, a Leatherman Micra, leather field notes cover from Etsy, and a Harris Tweed Hank from Hanky Panky. And then finally, a Lego Airport Coffee Dude. I've actually totally stopped carrying slip joints. I don't know why. I went through this phase where I absolutely loved slip joints and then all of a sudden I didn't even want one. So I, I don't know. I still have a couple of slip joints. I've got a, a great Eastern cutlery. I've got the uh, that custom crazy Franken proper from Benchmade that I put together from a 
few different knives. I just never, ever carry a slip joint. I don't know why. Other, other than, obviously, Swiss Army knives. I nearly forgot to tell you guys again how to enter the giveaway for the Yellow Birch Outfitters Pocket Pro. And same thing as last time. All you have to do is comment down below. But this time, I'm in search of the best EDC backpack. I want to do a bag dump, and I've been searching for a backpack. Right here, I have the one I've been using for a while. It's from Recycled Firefighters. It's all right, but it's not the perfect EDC backpack. So tell me what you think the perfect EDC backpack is down below. Wow, here's something I haven't seen in quite a while, something I haven't carried myself, and that is the Arc Company Boulder Wallet. This picture comes from Strock, and he has inside that a Swiss Army Knife Tinker, a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 1.2 in Battle Black. He also has a Fisher Space Pin Bullet in Brass, a Tog Hoyer Aqua Bracer 43 millimeters. Um, he has a Pete's Pirate Life Big Idea Design Copper Pin, as well as a large Sapenza 31, and an Olight S1 Arbiton 2. He says, all on top of a Mighty Hanks Star Wars Sugar Skulls handkerchief. Really cool stuff. The The cool thing is I watched him buy this Aqua Racer. I considered this Aqua Racer for a split second. This was in the classifieds over in the server, and I almost bought it. I wanted a traditional dive watch because I didn't really have one. I've got all these, you know, sort of dive watches, but I didn't have, like, just a traditional-looking dive watch. Now I do. Uh, this actually came in today. This is a Glycine Combat Sub. This was a drop collaboration in a Pepsi version, and uh, there was a a coffee version of this, which I really wanted. That's the one I really, really wanted, but uh, I had to settle for the Pepsi bezel because the coffee bezel is just very, very hard to come by. The drop ended over on Mass Drop, and then now they're impossible to find. I don't even know if they've shipped yet, but it just looked so, so good. But this one also looks pretty good, too. Robert Leave says, My try at a color-coded EDC. There's a Victorinox, Venger Swiss Army Knife, and a Gerber Bear Grylls Pocket Multi-Tool. The rest are no-name brands, and the wallet is custom handmade by a friend with my initials. I'm really bad at picking things that match and have the same colors. It's all basically titanium and then I'll have a pop of color. Like sometimes it's blue and sometimes it's green, but it's usually just one or two pieces. I don't ever really color code anything. It's all just plain gray for the most part, sometimes black. Really cool stuff. I, I don't do it on purpose either. It's just most of the things I own are plain gray. All right, here's one from MB Wild. He said, working the tide pools carry day. In this, I see a Fisher Space Pin bullet in brass with a clip, a field notes cover of some sort. We have a Benchmade 943, so not the 940. This is the drop point version of the 940 with black scales. Got some nice leather boots, a handkerchief, nice Filson hat, and then uh, a Solo X 8X25. So, Binoculars or monocular, I guess is what that is. That's a really cool photo there. Really, really nice editing on that photo. Oh, here's here's a little cool EDC kit similar to the video I did a few months ago. This comes from Obey7X. He has inside this a Benchmade bug out, knife pivot lube, tough glide, a Leatherman OHT, a Bic lighter, a small buck knife, and then he says not pictured random first aid items and zip ties. Really cool. I want to revisit that EDC toolkit that I made. So I did the little Swiss Army knife one and I did that Maxpedition pouch. I'd like to revisit that with something a little more thought out versus just throwing stuff that I like in the pouch. A lot of people called me out for just doing that, throwing stuff together, and I was open about that. <laughs> I said that in the video. I was like, I literally just threw this together over months and it just kind of formed into this, but I wanted to come back to it and revisit it as something that I've methodically put together. God, I just had to take a break. It got way too hot over here. This light is just putting off a ton of heat. Anyway, here's a photo from Curiosity. He has in this photo a Raylite crystal in titanium, as well as a Secret Wallet in distressed black, underneath a key bar in titanium with a deep carry pocket clip, and a TEC micro light. He also has a Wee Knives Eterna, not sure, it looks like an Isham design. He also has a copper and titanium pry tool from J. Wojtaz Knives, a Hanks by Hank Hank in murky waters, and a titanium money clip in the bottom left of the photo. And then the reason I chose this one actually is he has very subtle camera flex. And if you're not sure what you're looking for here, it's actually the box in the background that the flashlight is sitting on. That is an Edelchrome box. Um, that fancy little jib thing that I have is an Edelchrome. It actually broke on me this week, right in the middle of shooting some video. Fantastic timing. Perfect timing. About to go on vacation. Got to get this video done. And the Edelchrome just decides to shit the bed on me. Perfect. Wow, here's a here's a flex from Noah Wolf. He says, I'm an engineering student who's a real big fan of titanium because of its lightweight and scratch resistance qualities. Not super scratch resistant, but I get what you're saying. On the left, including my watch as a carry for when I'm wanting a slimmer carry to the right is when I want to carry a stronger knife. 
He has the new TI Mini Pocket Pro from Big Idea Design, as well as a Benchmade Anthem, a Garmin Vivo Active 2, and the flashlight is an Olight Baton Pro TI. On the right side, he has the Chris Reeves Umnumzon, as well as a TI Pocket Pro. Really cool titanium gear. You know I'm a fan if it's titanium. All right, here's one from Jam in the server. He said, my usual work carry, the knife is the only thing that changes. He has a Sector 250 watch, as well as a tactile turn short. Um, that looks like maybe titanium. I can't tell if it's titanium or a really patina bronze. He also has a Boker Plus Tango pry bar and then finally a Spyderco Para 3 in Rex 45 on the far right. Really simple, straightforward work carry. Here's one from Genji Craig, which is a black and brass pairing. Really, really cool looking. He has a Victornix Pioneer X with Urban Carver's bead and Urban Survival Gear Tie Scribe Mini in brass. He has a Benchmade Custom Shop Mini Crooked River in M4 with Flytanium Brass Outfit. Prometheus Beta QRV2 and ZNC Metalworks Brass Bead. And then finally, he has a Faro EDC Faro with Urban Carver's Brass Bead and underneath everything is a Mighty Hanks Mighty Mini. That is probably one of the best pairings that I've seen. Brass and black like that just go together so, so well. Here's one from Rev Laswell. Um, Choosing this because I kind of missed this knife. He has a Chavez Ultramar 229 drop point. I had the 228, but the 229 still really, really cool. He has a Muddy River Tactical Holster as well as a Glock 45 9mm. He has an 11x11 Atlas Creation Hank from Rue in the server. He also has a Bertucci AT4 with Tritium. Actually, he bought that one from me. He also has an Ace Biblio in Green Marcardo with a mouse bead. Below that is a Travex Ascent Wallet and a Tactile Turn Standard in bronze. He also has a Keysmart Pro with a Best MEDC Griffin Pocket Tool attached, as well as a uh, Shank Sharpener's Union Coin and a Don't Treadle Me Coin. He also has a Phoenix E18R, and he says, to hold my shorts or pants up with all of this stuff, I have the best made belt. A next belt, you gotta love 511 pants and shorts with all the pockets and how well they are made. I had a lot of people recommend 511 shorts to me and Duluth trading shorts. I'm very, very picky about my shorts and pants. Doesn't matter if it's pants or shorts, they gotta stretch. Here's one from That Chris B, the tools that get shit done. He has a custom Dasa Venomare Top Sider Quick Draw as well as a Tactile Turn Bolt Action Mini in TI with a Timascus Bolt, a Vero Engineering Fulcrum, a Franken Key Bar with Micarta and Titanium, and then finally a Chris Reeves Sabenza 21 with black canvas micarta inlays. Yes, everyone may have these nowadays, but there is a reason for that. They hold up, they do the work, and they look damn good doing it. Can't argue with that. That's a really slick carry, something like I would carry, honestly. Here's one from Adventure Blanket. He has a Koenig Mini Goblin, as well as a Mini Champ with Titanium Daily Custom Scales, a Raylight Lan TI in Stonewash, and then finally a Tactile Turn Bolt Action Mini and Field Notes. I'm not a fan of Koenig designs. Like I want one because people talk so highly of Koenig knives, but their designs are just very futuristic for me. If I had one, it'd probably be the Arius, but uh, they just, they look so good, but it's not my style. Maybe I'll eventually come across one. All right, here's here's a green carry from True Grav. He has a custom bug out with green scales, purple screws, and an orange thumb stud, the Joker special, a Zen 104 matte special edition on a Cascadia Strap Company genuine crocodile strap, a Pelican M200 medium nib fountain pen with Pelican Eidelstein Adventura ink, and then Shinola notebook. Um, I love that watch. Zen watches look really, really nice. Very similar to my Damasco. This one isn't, but um, Zen and Damasco have a lot of overlap in kind of the design language that they use. Here's one from Patina EDC. He has a Big Edit Design TI Pocket Pro as well as a Leatherman Charge, I believe that is. Another Raylight Land TI, a Tale of Knives card holder, and then another Vero Engineering Fulcrum. Here is a photo from Steven or Steve Exotic from the server. On his wrist, he has a Hamilton Khaki Heen Quartz. He has a Pena X-Series Front Flipper Zulu in green micarta, a tactile turn mover or shaker. I always got those two mixed up, but it's the click pin from tactile turn. Not the side click pin, the original click pin. He also has a copper Olight i3T EOS. Actually, that might be an i5T EOS. Looks like it a Burnley Psypop in brass, a Dasso Fanny Mare gun deck wallet in two-tone, and then a Mighty Hanks 
handkerchief. It'll make his day if I don't comment on how small his wrists and hands are. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna comment on how tiny his wrists or his hands are. All right, and the last one today is gonna come from Draz. In this photo, the reason I'm choosing it is because there is a Protec Malibu with an acid stone wash by EDC Gearhouse. I also have a Malibu coming in and I'm very, very excited for it. Uh, but also I have a Protec video coming up. I'm gonna be talking about several different Protec models and one of them will be the Malibu, but I'm getting the reverse Tonto. So this is the Warncliffe but there's also a reverse Tonto version of it. In this, he also has an EOS 2.5 wallet. He also has a Grimm's Masaga pin, an Okluma DC-1 in aluminum, a Wolf Designs pocket tool, and his Atlas Creation handkerchief underneath everything, which looks like it's a wood grain pattern. Really cool stuff. Thank you guys for submitting. So many people submitted. I only got to probably like 5% of the submissions uh, since yesterday. Just even just yesterday is crazy. But of course, if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Below, I will have linked some of the, my favorite stuff that stood out to me during this video. If you purchase anything using those links down below, I will get a little bit of a kickback, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. You can also support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc or buying a shirt just like this from Carry Commission. That is carrycommission.com or carry.best, but also be sure to follow us on the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestmedc. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at caspertech. And there's also a Discord server and a Facebook group. It's all linked down below. And I highly encourage you to go join over there, chat with the community. There's so much more to this than just videos here on this channel. It is a big, thriving, awesome community, especially over in the Discord and on Instagram. But with that said, and until next time, carry on.